important that we speak the favor of God over our lives, over our families, over what we do, over our businesses, because the benefits are just over the top. Like they are so huge, so, so large. So I'm sure by the end of this video, you will join me in taking a 30 day challenge of speaking the favor of God over your life. Welcome to the show. You're watching Real Talk with Ify. I'm Ify Uba Madu, your host. I'm an actress and content creator. And really, over the years, I have seen the favor of God working tremendously in my life. From graduating from university to getting into modeling. You know, you know, most there's a place in the Bible that says time and chance, you know, meeting the right people at the right time. And you're wondering how did this happen? It was just the favor of God, getting modeling contracts one-way job getting events contracts because there was a time i went into event management and looking back the kind of events the quality of events the clients i was able to work with even as a teenager 19 you know 18 20 21 i mean even up to now i can just say clearly is the favor of god Favor of God does a lot of things in our lives and I have, you know, lots of fans, lots of upcoming actors, actresses, and they ask me things like, how can I get into the industry? What can I do? And blah, blah, blah. You know, I always point them to the favor and the grace of God and always tell them that, you know what, you just need to be focused on God. Yes, because that's where everything happens. That's where all the beautiful things yeah. happen. So no matter the industry you are in, whether you're a writer and you're hoping for a book deal, the favor of God can bring the book deal to you. Whether you, you cook amazing food, you're a caterer, and you're hoping for an office space, you know, somewhere you could have your kitchen where you could cook for both special occasions and also sell on a daily basis. Whether you're starting up a business, you need capital. You know, your capital really is wisdom. But it's also from, from your minds too and the favor of God. People could just get interested in you and decide to invest in you, invest in your mind. So build up your mind, build up your mind really with the favor of God. And I'm going to be sharing some special scriptures with you, you know, that would um, help you in seeing the benefits of God in, in, in your life. You know, one of the one of my most amazing scriptures, which I will share very soon, Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. And um you know, the, the favor of God is, is like you just saying yes to God. When we're talking about the favor of God, saying just saying yes to God, you know, just saying yes to him. Because God wants us to ask big. He's a big God. And he wants us to ask big. He wants to do great things in our lives. Because at times, I think about the movie roles. Uh, most people are saying that you need to compromise as a woman, as a young lady, to do well in modeling, to do well in acting. But with the favor of God, you don't have to do any of those things. You can stand strong, do well in business, get the contracts you always wanted to do, you know, do your speaking events, all kinds of things. I mean, you know, working in an organization, you know, most of the time people look at the entertainment industry and feel that, yes, there's a lot of infidelity, there are different kinds of things there. But I also have experience in the corporate, corporate um, sector. And it, seriously, at, at times it, it could sound as if it's worse because it's a bit hidden. So once in a while, the story gets out. But you can still stand strong as a woman. We talk about women empowerment and things like that, but you could stand strong as a light. And that way you're standing strong on the favor of God. So quickly, let me share with you some of the benefits of working in the favor of God. And they're also related to scripture. And the favor of God brings supernatural increase and promotion in your life. Uh, by the way, I got a lot of inspiration for this video from amazing Teresa Belfoy and you know She brought out these scriptures and these benefits from her dad um, and Pastor Jerry Foy and then um, Jerry Savell I mean and then um, The favor of God brings supernatural increase and promotion in your life It brings restoration restoration really I know is favor of, of God because at times you know dealing with humans dealing with people there are times that misunderstanding could come out and um you know it's almost like the relationship is strained no one is talking to each other but the favor of god the grace of god brings restoration that's something huge i know i've seen over and over in my life clients that you don't know how to say sorry to because you feel that you did something wrong or you know but the favor of god speaking the favor of god over your business could restore clients who are high paying who will bring the profits to you so why don't you try just give yourself a 30 day challenge and then honor brings honor i mean we hear about daniel daniel and his friends they were 10 times you know 
more than their contemporaries so that people of god brings honor in your life people of god increases assets when it comes to real estate you know this is something that i really need to put to work that's why i'm starting up with this 30 days challenge and um i'm sure we'll get a few testimonies from it so i'd like you to also put on comment section what you're going to do what aspects of your life you want to declare favor on and then favor of god brings great victories it brings recognition i won awards clearly on favor it wasn't as if um i knew them so well or they were my friends or friend of a friend it was just clearly the favor of god that really brought it to me and you get preferential treatment yes you are treated like a vip when you have the favor of god in you and it grants you petitions for those going through court cases issues you know you know things getting bad you know it grants you petitions it causes policies laws to be changed in your favor you know whether laws in the office in the corporate environment laws in your industry the favor of god causes things to change just for you and also wins battles for you and then i could go on and on and on but what before before i have to close this i think i just have a couple more minutes with you i just want to share with you one of the 10 you know top for me there are so many so many from the bible and um, when you talk about the scriptures for favor because you're thinking how would i start about declaring the favor of god for me but you you could start with the scriptures and they're very easy just get a bible <laughs> you can download it or you could get a hard copy and then um, the first one is second corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 and god is able to make all grace every favor and every blessing come to me in abundance so that I may always and under all circumstances and whatever the need be self-sufficient, possessing enough to require no aid or support and furnish in abundance for every good work and try to good intention. So if you're thinking of what to meditate on when you wake up in the morning, when the wrong thoughts are trying to get into your mind, when you're in front of the client and you feel the client might say yes or no, I don't to just say this, whisper this to your mind. Seriously, I've had great, great, amazing testimonies just from this particular scripture. Yes, even as a student and you're wondering where the next money will come from for welfare, for feeding, this scripture has really helped me all through my life. And um, graduating from the university and also projects, you know, I used to read Psalm 90 verse 17 a lot. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hands upon us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. You are setting up a new business. You are going to partnership with people. You can keep declaring when you um, get to the office first in the morning that the favor of God establishes the work of your hands. That way it will last. It won't be like, um, even if you are in the music industry, it won't look as if you are a one-hit wonder. You get to have so many platinum gold albums okay and then getting a job you know when i worked in the bank and then get, getting a job genesis 39 21 really helped me a lot and then praying over your child i'm a mother now and i'm sure you can hear my son's voice somewhere at the background but you know looking at your child every morning and you just want the best for them something a scripture is this first samuel 2 26 now the boy samuel was growing in stature and in favor with both with the lord and with men that's something important we should do now declaring the favor of god over our children and then going for a job interview or contract you could declare you know so will you find favor and good repute in the sight of god and men and then you know for those you know hoping getting pregnant and face that we hear of the of mary in the bible in the book of matthew the angel said to her do not be afraid mary for you have found favor with god so you can put your name in there do not be afraid about you know thinking about conception delivery for you have found favor with god so mention your name jessica um titi um you know just mention your name rebecca you know you have found favor with god and in secondary school people in secondary schools that's like high schools and then um, in luke 2 52 and jesus kept increasing in wisdom and stature in favor with god and men so important that you grow in wisdom so you have retentive memory for every subject you know you are studying every course you're studying if you're a student or phd level master's level the number six verse two the lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you that even includes protection yes people of god brings protection for you yeah and the ninth the tenth one is um for you are the glory of their strength and by your favor 
our horn is exalted. There's something people are like us to memorize, really, in Genesis 6 8. But put your name, so I'll say, but if you found favor in the eyes of the Lord, that is so easy, so, so easy for you to keep saying over and over again. We talk about mental health, wellness, we talk about, you know, taking the right things to reduce suicide amongst young people. I'll now say one of the key things, major things to do is declaring the favor of God over your life. It's really important. And I want to say a big thank you to you for watching this video. Please share with people who you think might be going through, you know, challenging times in their life, especially when it comes to mental health and wellness, or setting up a new business or marriage, you know, declaring the favor of God upon their lives. And please leave a comment for me and subscribe. By that we are telling you, you enjoy what you watch here on Real Talk with Ify and you want to hear more. I love you all so much and please watch the next slide because it's also an important thing to declare in the favor of God over your life. I love you all so much and I'll see you soon.